Hey there! If you heard recently Unreal Engine 5.2 preview released and now Preview 2 is already available if you like to download them, one of the features that mainly Unreal team focused on it is procedural content generation. There are several tutorials on YouTube that you can find about how you can start developing something with a procedural content generator. But one of the things that they found is missing in several uh, videos over the internet is how you can expose the parameter that you can modify them in the editor. In this video, I would like to quickly go over them because it's very simple, but it can be very handy and can extend your uh, workflow a lot. The first thing that you need to do is creating a uh, procedural content uh, generated um, item or actor in your scene. If you don't know, you should need to go to the uh, plugins and then in procedural uh, in content generation framework, just activate it. I also activate the uh, framework geometry script. Maybe we do not need it, but yeah, just, just add it here. Maybe we can use it later. Okay. Then when you add that, you can go into the into your content browser and you can create one of these PCG graphs. For example, here I have PCG graph for the decal spawner and also mesh spawner. When you open these graphs, they will look like this. You just have something as in and something as out that you can use as also even as a subgraphs. But here I do not need them because I would like to use the spline data and then sampling that spline data, making difference to another primitive objects that use the tags. And at the end, using the point sampler to sampling some points on the graph and using some transform to transforming that point. And at the end, we have this uh, static mesh spawner that we define the static mesh that we would like to use. But the interesting point is this transform point has several parameters that we can define here. For example, the range of rotation. But uh, these parameters are already inside uh, this PCG component uh, or PCG actor that we have. And we need to modify them every time that we want to modify something in the scene. In order to come pose them or expose them into our blueprint, we need to create another blueprint actor, something like this that they have here. And inside this blueprint actor, we need to add PCG as a component. Then this PCG component, we can assign the PCG that we made. And inside the blueprint, we can have some parameters that we would like to control. For example, I have rotation mean as a rotator, rotation max as a rotator, and density as a float value, and scale mean and max as a vector. The name is important because their link is name-based or uh, string-based and naming convention. And then here, we, I can use this property to param data and entering the exact value here, and as actor filter, I can say, okay, you're searching inside self for this parameter. And it, automat it will read automatically this parameter from our blueprint and assign it to the transfer point. This will be very helpful. For example, just imagine uh, you have these three assets and uh, you're extending this but you would like to change uh, some parameters here. For example, you would like to put it uh, like this to reduce the amount, or you would like to reduce the size of three to something like this. I hope you enjoyed this one. And uh, I hope you use this procedural content generator because it's very handy. And see you next time. Bye.